All right, what's up everyone? And welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. Today, I'm gonna talk about a way to just tweak exercises that would perform them in a way and hit certain muscle groups such as your upper back, thoracic extensors, what have you, and even your biceps. And you're probably thinking, what the hell is he talking about? Now, I am talking about turning any lift, well, one that's suitable to do so, into a Zercher variation. Now, or Zerker, I still to this day don't know how it's pronounced. Now, the Zercher hold is when you put the barbell in the crooks of your biceps or the elbow joint, and you hold the barbell there, basically. So this was invented by someone named Ed Zercher, I believe he decided that's how he squatted and then it just became a popular strength exercise. There's some people that hate them, there's some people that love them. I'm in the boat that loves them, okay? I've been doing them for a long, long while. So any variation you do will stress the upper back more when you have the barbell in the Zercher position, okay? so. I have about 10 exercise variations here, I think 10, maybe 11, who cares? I'm gonna give it to you all at the same time, not video by video. So the first variation is the most simple one to explain. It is the Zercher squat, the granddaddy of them all where it all started, okay? So all you do is unrack the bar using your biceps, get into a standard squat position, it's almost like a front squat except the bar is held even lower so it's tilting you forward more and this puts a lot of stress on your thoracic extension so it's testing your ability to stay upright and it also gives a good upper back and trap stimulus as well now because you have to stay upright or else the bar is just gonna fall out of your arms this really puts more stress on the quadriceps and if your body anthropometry allows it a Zercher squat actually allows you to squat deeper and more comfortably than a back or front squat. So if your anthropometry allows it, this will actually hit your quads a lot better. The reason most people won't do this specifically for leg development is due to the fact that you're limited by how much weight you can hold in the Zercher position. So I wouldn't make this a main lift for leg development but you definitely can throw it in as an assistance exercise. Now, exercise number two, I like to call it a Zercher deadlift. Now, some people call Zercher deadlifts the type of variation when you pick it up off the floor in the Zercher position. I think that's a stupid ass exercise. I would never recommend it. The type of Zercher deadlift I'm talking about is when you set the bar height at on pins or on blocks, whatever your gym has, and you basically get into position and do a bottom up Zercher squat. The only reason I call it a Zercher deadlift is because you're lifting it from a dead position, okay? This was shown to me by a power lifter named John Pinder, very successful, very strong lifter, older guy now, but he in his heyday, he was very strong. And even as he got into his 40s and 50s, still a very strong guy. So another variation is specifically for the core, and I forgot to mention, all these exercises are gonna hammer your core. These are called Zercher carries, okay? That's exactly how you think it would. You know how there's like the yoke walk in the strongman games? This is, or World Strongest Man, I don't know why I called it that. You carry the Zercher position and you walk with it. So this will tax the hell out of all those muscles. Very difficult variation to walk with. Now, let's piggyback on that. Another variation, it's like a Zercher carry, but it's with a different implement. Instead of a barbell, you're going to use a sandbag. So I've tried many different sandbag variations, like carries, the one on the shoulder, the bear hug, the bottom hold, I don't know what you would call this. And then there is the Zercher style carry where you uppercut it and have both arms underneath. This is so difficult because the width of the sandbag goes out further than a barbell. So it puts so much stress on the upper back and core. It's literally trying to break you in half and you have to have enough core strength and testicular fortitude not to allow it to snap you in half. So the next exercise, there's two of them really would be Zercher Good Mornings and the Zercher Seated Good Morning. Both place stress on your hamstrings and your glutes, 
your upper back, thoracic extensors, core. The only problem here is that you are limited by how much you can hold in your biceps. So I would not program these as a main hamstring or posterior chain exercise. I would basically use it as a core exercise. So if you're doing regular good mornings that day, it'd be a good idea maybe to throw these in as a core or lower back exercise and additionally get some extra posterior chain volume in there as well. So uh, these are not the best as a pure assistance movement, but they're great as a core exercise. We got two more exercises for you, both of the single leg variation, okay? These are brutal, end of story. These are brutal. So the first exercise is Zercher lunges. Now, pick a standard lunge, put it in the Zercher position, and just go lunging. This is not a, you can, I guess, do it in a spot, like just back and forth lunge, but I like to do these a walking variation. So walking lunges with the Zercher position. The reason I like them walking is because you're taking a step forward, it's you need dynamic stability in your core because you're constantly moving. So you need to make sure you're resisting the movements in all four directions. That's why I prefer a walking lunge as opposed to a stationary lunge. Now that doesn't mean you can't do a stationary lunge, do whatever you want, but I prefer the walking lunge for the core stability purposes, okay? And just like a lunge, you can do Zercher split squats. Now the funny thing enough is when I do Zercher split squats, for some reason, I find a much more glute activation than I would with traditional split squats, which is weird because I'm not even performing them in a way that focuses on the glutes. So I find that very odd that I feel greater glute stress. I don't know why. It could just be the way I subconsciously perform them when I have them front loaded. Who knows? Next variation. Now, although the Zercher hold just in general gives you a good trap stress and stretch, it's another way just to do them as shrugs. What's good about this is it gets the bar out of your hands and it still allows you to shrug without using your hands. Now, why do I like this variation? As you saw in my trap variation or shrug variation videos, I don't struggle to build traps, so I don't need exercises that are purely for the traps. Now, why do I like these? Because it's an overall total body stability exercise with the additional trap stress. So for someone like myself that does not need to build traps, this is great because it accomplishes other things while still stimulating the traps. Try these, they are very, very humbling. Now, let's move on to the last exercise, the Zercher hyperextension. There are many ways you can load a hyperextension and one of them is to hold a plate across your chest, to put the plate behind your head, or any other way you could think of. Those are two ways that I like to do them. Another way to do them is to hold them in a Zercher variation. So as you near the bottom, it is trying to roll out of your hands, the barbell. So you have to maintain a good upward posture of your thoracic muscles in order for this not to happen. And this puts more stress on them while engaging them more and therefore strengthening them in the long run. And I never even thought of this, I just thought of it right now. You can do glute ham raises like this as well. Although if you're not proficient enough at just body weight glute ham raises, it might not be the best idea to jump into such an advanced variation. But maybe that's why I didn't say it because, or I didn't think of it, because it's such an advanced variation that most of these can be done by just about anyone that's currently lifting, whereas that, you know, may take multiple years before you're able to load GHRs like that. So let's conclude this video. The Zercher hold is great for stressing your upper back, thoracic extensors, and especially your frickin' core, okay? Now, add this variation to any exercise you're currently doing, a squat variation, deadlift variation, anything to do with the posterior chain, and yes, even shrugs. Why do I like the Zercher holds? Because they accomplish a bunch of things at once, especially your core. That's the first thing you're gonna notice when you do this. Gives you a little bit of extra bicep stimulation for the bros out there that are all about biceps. 
and that's about it. What else can you ask for? So if you like this video, please click that like button. I'm trying to get my like count up. I appreciate all the views I like, but if you enjoyed the video, please, please like it. And if you didn't enjoy it, please give me a thumbs down. I'll know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. Follow me on Instagram at the strength classroom underscore for like training clips and inspirational quotes and just random crap I eat from day to day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. And as always, class is dismissed.